According to statistics, the Philippines has the highest interracial marriages in Southeast Asia involving marrying Westerners or white men. Although we have the highest interracial marriages in Southeast Asia, we also have the highest criticisms in Southeast Asia, specifically only for Filipina women because of marrying a white guy. So I guess this topic is not often talked about and I'd like to talk about this topic in behalf of those Filipinas who married a white guy with good intentions. And if you're gonna ask me why I'm gonna talk only for those Filipinas who married a white guy, because many Filipinos in my country doesn't really care about us if we're married to other Asians or a black guy, but they become very interested about our life once we are married to a white guy. So if they know about that, expect that we are gonna experience a lot of challenges along the way. And I will give these reasons why it takes to be a strong Filipina to marry a white guy. And these are also based on my experiences and based on the experiences of my other Filipina friends. And I'd like to share about these things. So number one, we mostly experience criticisms and stereotypes. So I would say this is one of the most challenging part ever, I would say, I, as I experience. Because honestly, I always tell to myself that I don't really care about people's judgment. But deep inside, it really hurt me so much, especially I could hear it from them. And they're always judging us that the reason why we married a white guy is just to get out of our country so a lot of filipinos usually call us isang kababayan naman natin ang nakaahon sa kahirapan in english that means another compatriot has escaped poverty so that's what they usually call us like everywhere I have seen it everywhere. For example, a Filipina posted a video with her, her white husband or white boyfriend and a lot of like <laughs> Filipino keyboard warriors are going to comment on their social medias. Another compatriot has escaped poverty and so on and so forth. Like Because they always have this kind of mindset that the reason why we chose a white guy is because we just want to get out of our country. We just want to live a good life and the key for that is to marry a white guy. And it's so crazy because it's also one of my experience. People's expectations are always like, if she's a Filipina with a white guy, people will immediately think she's a gold digger. Number two is the burden of expectations. Kuba and I were together for four years and I still don't know when it stops. <laughs> As years goes by, it worsens. Everyone expects that Jacob is wealthy or rich. But I'm not generalizing that all Filipinos are like this. But you know, poverty in the Philippines is higher. So there are still a lot of people thinking that white foreigners are rich. I even talked to my high school classmate and she chatted me like, Yeah, you know Gwen, if you, you have, you know someone, like if you know someone, a foreigner if you can give me and then we up until we have this kind of talk that I told them that no not not all white guys are rich they are just the same as us who's working hard but they are just good at saving and like us Filipinos we suck at saving and we are just earning and then wasting the money and you know it's so crazy to think about it because I'm really having this kind of struggle to let people understand that their expectation or their belief is wrong even if I try so hard to maybe prove it to them, it's still so hard for them to understand it. Because we have this kind of culture, you know, in the Philippines, a culture of supporting our family. Every Filipino family has this kind of breadwinner. And there are instances as well that if I'm a woman and married to a Filipino, Filipino guy, that Filipino guy also has to help the family if they know that he has a good work. But knowing that if I am a Filipina married to a white guy, the expectation is it becomes time, times 10. Even if I tried my best to prove it to people that 
it's not true by working two multiple jobs but they will never credit our hard work because they always think that our money comes from our husband or from our boyfriend number three is dealing with prejudice and understanding i would say it's not only filipinos it's not only other filipinos who are thinking this way but also other asians as i have read it online with their comments that we filipinas married a white guy using our body as an investment because they said that white men usually have this kind of yellow fever or fetish against asian women and that's the reason why we were able to get a white guy easily there might be some guys who are doing that but i don't generalize that because i believe that we do have different preferences and it's so crazy to think about that these asian people might have their own preference preferences but shaming us Filipinas for having our own preference. We have our own preference. We have differences in our preferences that we decided to marry a white guy not because of money, not because of using our body as an investment, and especially not because we hate ourselves for thinking that we are ugly. Because that's one of the craziest things they said there online. Because... We think that white men are attractive and beautiful for us. Yes, it might be. We consider it might be like that in the Philippines. But I would say not all Filipino women as well are thinking that way. In my personal opinion, I married Jacob not because of his looks but because of his personality. Knowing that there are a lot of Filipino men in my country who are only good at first but as years goes by once women already have given birth they start changing and we all know that a lot of cases happening in asia that women are usually a buttered wife they are being bitten by their husbands not only filipinos who are doing that but there are still a lot of asian men who are doing that so there are a lot of reasons actually and one of the reasons why Asian women or Filipino women marry the white guy because they think that or we think that we are safer to white guys compared to Asian men. And in my country, a lot of cases, I'm not generalizing, but a lot of cases that Filipino men are usually the ones cheating in their relationship. Whether we deny it or not, but that's the truth. And those Filipina who were able to, um, who and those Filipina who decided to date or marry a white man because they have seen a lot of, um, they have seen a lot of experiences as well from the other Filipinas that they were really happy in their relationships and were treating them right compared to being treated by a Filipino man. There are still a lot of good Filipino men, but I would say it's so hard to find them. You know, we do have our own preferences and maybe for sure those Filipino women know their worth and they don't want to settle this kind of men. And they met a white guy who's having those kind of standards that they wanted. So that's the reason why they decided to marry a white guy. But all of those criticisms, stereotypes, prejudice and misunderstandings coming from like negative people are actually not true and if you have a filipino partner or a filipino wife please appreciate her because she has been going through a lot from these criticisms stereotypes judgments simulations from people and she's one of the strongest women in the world and this is not the end because i am here as well and i will add my point of view about this me as a man men are known to be problem solvers women are more those emotional creatures and everything is perfectly balanced when is that warm-hearted emotional person and as she says that i'm that cold-hearted person which is actually true those filipina women who are having those kind of troubles there are simple solutions for me it looks kind of simple for you woman it may be a bit complicated but 
if your family neighbors are having you this are giving you these headaches don't care about them like you are just living this one life and is it worth it of caring about those for you useless people in your life i believe it's not the other thing about supporting your family if you as a filipino citizen living with foreign partner it's also your choice but if you will keep helping a little child since the young age with everything giving that child everything helping with everything the child is finally adult or teenager and the child is not ready for the life because the child is keen will get everything everything will be solved for that child and it's the same like with your family if you will keep giving keep giving keep giving they will always take and their mindset will go like why should i keep trying like my stupid sister or brother is keep giving us so why we should even try so stop giving them money that's the second solution of the problem and what was the third part it's all about prejudice and misunderstanding that they think that Filipinos are just using our body as an investment to get a white guy because Ooh. of this yellow fever belief all around the world even here in Czechia or in the Philippines are poor people and rich people Gwen couldn't marry me because of her body because the <laughs> Po the pork bell is sitting <laughs> down there like it's clearly not for money i'm gaining because of you <laughs> and it's not only like in the philippines that filipino women or men are getting married foreigners for money it's everywhere all around the world Czechia, That's America, true. USA, Russia. Maybe the intensity of Filipinos is higher than other countries, but it is what it is. I just want that to stop because it hurts my feelings. <laughs> you see the warm-hearted person and the cold-hearted person. <laughs> I'm so hard. To... I'm not ashamed of that. That's who I am. That's my personality. I can be am i kind you are i am kind but cold-hearted so that's all for this video guys thank you guys for watching gwen already finished the video we will always appreciate any like comment and see you in the next video bye that, that came from my cold heart 